Welcome to the Faroe Islands. Hi, I'm Pater and I live in this hidden corner of the world. This uh, guide to the Faroe Islands video will help you plan an unforgettable vacation in these far-flung isles in the middle of the North Atlantic Ocean. I'm truly excited to share with you the best attractions in the Faroe Islands. Knowing where to go here is essential when preparing your trip. So I'm going to take you through all the top spots to visit. Places that will stay in your heart forever. Here are the 10 best places in the Faroe Islands to visit. All these amazing attractions are ready for you to book on Guide to the Faroe Islands. So check out the world's largest selection of things to do and see in the Faroe Islands right here. The first thing you need to know is that the Faroe Islands is the perfect destination for any escapist. Wild nature, rugged coastlines, lots of otherworldly activities to join, and so much more. For all the best recommendations and insider tips to the most amazing islands in the world, please make sure to subscribe to our channel now. So without further ado, let's dive into my top 10 places to visit in the Faroe Islands. Kicking off my list is the stunning Lake Leutesvatn. Perched above the North Atlantic Ocean, Lake Leutesvatn provides a breathtaking view that will leave you awestruck. Located on Vuar Island, this place is also known as the Lake Above the Ocean and the Floating Lake, as the view you get here creates an unbelievable optical illusion. It's hard to describe the feeling of standing on the edge of the lake and gazing out at the vast ocean below. It's truly an experience you will never forget. It feels like you've stepped into a postcard. I highly recommend adding Lake Leutesvat to your itinerary. It's a once in a lifetime experience that will leave you with memories that will last for a lifetime. Next up is the picturesque village of Jekv, located on Esteroy Island. This village is nestled next to a narrow natural gorge and offers stunning views of the ocean. It's a great place to take a leisurely walk and enjoy the peaceful surroundings, including a cluster of cute and colorful houses. This cool sea cave is always worth a visit. It adds to the beauty of this place that is surrounded by phenomenal mountains. Coming in at number 8 is Mulafosser Waterfall located on Vuar Island. This waterfall is one of the most photographed locations on the Faroe Islands and it's not hard to see why. Getting to the waterfall is super easy. Head to the village Gossadeller and after only minutes on foot you'll get the classic view seen in photos by many but experienced real life by few. Mulafosser waterfall runs through the village Gazadeller before it exits into the sea. Wow, what an untroubled drop that is! Enjoy the stunning views of the surrounding mountains and ocean while the waterfall plunges into the ocean. My next destination is Cutler Lighthouse, located on Katsoy Island. Getting to the actual lighthouse requires you to sail, drive through narrow tunnels and hike up an epic mountain. But trust me, the views from the lighthouse are spectacular and absolutely worth every inch of the effort. Up for a guided tour to this attraction and your day will turn out awesome. You will get all those insane views from Katsoy Island. Coming in as number 6 is the Vesmana Sea Cliffs. Vesmana is a tranquil village located on Stremoy Island. While the village is beautiful, make sure to join a boat ride to the towering cliffs and deep gorges. Known by the locals as Vesmana Björgene, the Vesmana sea cliffs will give you that wow feeling, perfect for families, couples, friends and solar travelers alike. This is such a special place. The only place to get there is by boat, so make sure to check out the boat tour to the Vesmana Sea Cliffs. While visiting the Faroe Islands is all about the great outdoors, this experience takes place indoor. Fair Isles Distillery is something else entirely. Swing by for a unique experience where all the magic happens. 
from world-class whiskey to a range of high-quality spirits, including gin and vodka. Everything is made with locally sourced ingredients and traditional distilling methods. Take a guided tour of the distillery to learn more about the distilling process and the passionate locals behind one of the most northerly distilleries in the world. Coming in at number 4 is Tinganes, the historic district located in the capital city of Teushaun. This tiny peninsula juts out into the sea and this is where the Vikings used to gather to discuss important matters over a thousand years ago. The name Tinganes translates to Parliament Point in English and it's been the political center of the Faroe Islands for centuries. The district is home to many traditional Faroese buildings including the Prime Minister's office and other government buildings. Wander through the narrow winding streets while surrounded by grass-roofed houses and cobblestone streets. Located right in the heart of Teushaun, it's easy to get to from anywhere in the city. You can also explore Tinganes with a local tour guide adding to the richness of the experience. Next up is Kvuithammer, located on Esteroy Island. Perched along a narrow mountain ridge, Kvuithammer offers you breathtaking views. Getting there requires only a short hike. There are well-marked posts along the route, so just follow them all the way to where the most incredible scenery opens up for you. You'll get to see panoramic views of the surrounding landscape, including the inspiring Fundingsfjörder Fjord. Even though the hike is very easy, I promise you, you'll still feel like you've accomplished something. You'll for sure get up close and personal with the nature of the Faroe Islands and really appreciate the beauty of this unique destination. Fossoa Waterfall, located on Stremoy Island, has it all. Fossoa is the tallest waterfall in the Faroe Islands. The cool thing about this attraction is that it's located literally next to the main road. This is an awesome place to pull off and feel the spray from the water on those rainy and windy days. This is truly a magical place. Make sure to prioritize Fossa Waterfall when you're here. And finally, our number one destination in the Faroe Islands is... Drengarnir Sea Arch. Located off the coast of Vuar Island, Drengarnir is a set of stunning sea stacks that jut out of the ocean, forming a dramatic archway. It's one of the most unique and photogenic places in the Faroe Islands, and you don't want to miss it. But here's the thing, Drengarnir isn't exactly easy to get to. It's located in a pretty remote part of the Faroe Islands, and there's no direct road access. But that's where the boat tour comes in. By joining a tour, you'll be able to get up close and personal with Drengarnir without having to navigate the tricky terrain yourself. Being out on the water is just plain fun. You'll get to enjoy the fresh sea air, feel the wind in your hair if you have some, and maybe even spot some marine wildlife along the way. Drengarnir is an unforgettable experience that you'll remember for years to come. Trust me, you won't regret it. Well, that's it for my top 10 places to visit in the Faroe Islands. Let me know in the comments below where you want to go when you come to the Faroe Islands. Whether you're looking for stunning landscapes, cultural activities or just a peaceful getaway, the Faroe Islands have something for everyone. I hope this video has inspired you to explore these spots and experience all that the Faroe Islands have to offer. So, what are you waiting for? Browse all these attractions on Guide to the Faroe Islands today and take the next step. Experiencing these places in the Faroe Islands will for sure make your vacation a highlight of the year. Thanks for watching.